Welcome back. In this video, we are going to create section 6 of the layout, which is the frequently asked questions. So here we are going to use Bootstrap component called Accordion. So once you click on the question, then the Accordion collapses and reveals the item. So let's get started and create something similar like what we have here on the layout. So on the HTML, we are going to start that section. First is a comment. We have start section 6 the frequently asked questions. So I'm going to start the section with an ID of frequently asked questions, FAQ and a class of FAQ. We need a container and also a row tab. So here you're going to start with the heading and then the heading line and then the subheading. So here we have H1 with a class of display 3 and a class of font weight bold. So we have FAQ and here we also need to add another class which is text capitalize or text uppercase. You can see up we have that class text uppercase and also on the row we need to add the text center class after the heading we have that heading line so we have that class heading line and then the sub heading which is a paragraph with a class of lead so i'm going to copy And then paste and then I'm going to save let's see from the browser and they have it you have it you can see you now we have that heading next I'm going to add the accordion content so on the HTML I'm going to create a new row for that content so we have the comment which is accordion content So I'm going to start a new row and some margin at the top. So I'm going to choose margin top five. And then here you need to specify the column size that you want to use. So that one will reflect on the size of the accordion that you're going to have. So for now we can use call MD 12. So that one will go full width. So to save time, I'm going to copy the example code from the bootstrap documentation. So you can go to getbootstrap.com and then under the components, you'll find accordion. So here there are two examples that you can copy. We have the first one and then we have the second one called the accordion flash. So this one removes the default background color, some borders and some rounded corners to render accordions edge to edge with the apparent container. So I'm going to copy the example for the first one. So I'm going to copy the entire code and then paste. And there you have it. So here, because we have four accordion items, you can see from the layout, you can see we have four. So we need to duplicate one, which is the third. So we have from here, I'm going to duplicate for the fourth accordion item. So once you duplicate, you must change some things like the ID attributes. You can see here, Collapse 3, you need to change that to 4. Also, you need to change the area labeled by. So you need to change that to 4. Also, this one is 3, is 4. Then I'm going to save. Let's see from the browser. And that is our content. So once you click, then the accordion collapses and reveals the item. So we have accordion 2, accordion item 2, we have accordion item 3, and finally accordion item 4. So let's comment this 
accordion item so that you can know where they start. Let's start with the first one. So we have accordion item 1. So I'm going to comment that. Accordion item 1. That is a comment. So I'm going to copy that comment for the rest of the accordion items. We have the second one. We have the third one. And finally we have the fourth. So now we are ready to customize the accordion. So here we're going to customize a few things. If you check from the layout here, we're going to add some space between the accordion items so that we can separate the accordion items and then you're going to add shadow and then you're going to add some padding between the questions. And then also we need to change the question to reflect what we have here on the layout. So let's work on that. So first I'm going to select all the accordion items so that we can add the two classes. So we are going to add shadow. And then you're going to separate or add some space between the accordion items by using margin bottom. So we have margin bottom 3. So I'm going to save. Let's see. And there you have it. You can see now we have some space between the accordion items and then that shadow. So the next one is to make sure that the questions reflect what we have here on the layout. So we have the first question. So I'm going to copy. So I have changed the question. I'm going to save. Let's see from the browser. So now you can see the questions reflect what you have there on the layout. So the next one is to add some padding between the questions. So here we have accordion padding X and accordion padding Y. So to do that, you're going to override some of the bootstrap defaults. So you're going to go to the variables file, which can be found inside the node modules. And that is the bootstrap variables file. And then bootstrap SSS. And then down here we have that file variables.scss. So here on the variables where we have the accordion, we're going to copy the two variables that is accordion padding y, and you can see the default is one rem, and accordion padding x, and the default is 1.2 rem. So I'm going to copy the two variables, and then inside the custom. So where we have the accordion overrides, I'm going to add that variables and then I'm going to remove the two defaults or the default flag. So here you're going to override accordion padding Y to 1.5 and also accordion padding X, we're going also to override that to 1.5. So both are going to use 1.5 rem. So I'm going to save. Let's see. And there you have it. You can see now we have that padding. And that is what we have here on the layout. So you can see the space is the same. Next is to make sure that our section is fully responsive. So I'm going to right click and inspect element. So this is how the section look like on a screen window of 360. That's Moto G4. And you can see the content is fitting nicely. So I'm going to change to another screen device like iPad. iPad. Again, you can see our content is fitting nicely on that screen device. So let's change to another one like iPhone 6, 7, 8 plus. Again, you can see our content is fitting nicely. So even without creating or writing any media breakpoint, our section is fully responsive. So we can move on to the next section.